Hey guys, so today our art journal technique will be using watercolor paints and some permanent markers. Now the permanent markers that you're going to be using, we will have a broad or a regular Sharpie marker and we're definitely going to be using some fine point Sharpie markers as well. That doesn't have to be Sharpie brand, but as long as you have a nice black permanent marker. If you have one available, you could also use a very, very broad tip. This is a broad chisel tip, just so that you can fill in big areas in a quicker, uh, in a quicker way. So I hope you enjoy this, this technique. It was a lot of fun for me to make it. Starting with a new page in my art journal, I put down my wax paper to protect my pages. I'm going to grab a brush and lay down some gesso. Now if you have a page that is unlined, you can skip this step. I'm going to put down the gesso, I'm probably going to put down two coats, um, and you can see that the, the left page is a little wrinkly because the prior art journal spread had some glue, but that's okay. The work that we're going to be doing today is an abstract design, so those wrinkles add character. Now this art journal spread idea was inspired by Deb Wires, who is a really cool abstract artist. And to start off, we're going to be using some watercolor paints to fill in our two pages. It's kind of a random design. You can pretty much put the paint however you like. You want to cover most of it, but you can leave some spaces a little blank. Drying it down with the hair dryer. Now I bring out the Sharpie markers and I start to work on my designs. You can see that I'm going to basically trace a lot of the designs that were created by the watercolors, but I am also going to improvise a little bit. So not everything's going to get an exact outline. So I am adding in lines and shapes, um, creating some interesting little designs, going thick and thin with my marker, um, adding some patterns, some loops, some swirls, all kinds of stuff, just whatever feels right. Now, of course, I sped this up, but working on it, it was a nice, slow process, and I really took the time to figure out what I wanted to put where. I switch over to my fine point pen. I jumped ahead a little bit there, um, but you could really see the interesting way that the fine point, the fine tip marker looks in contrast with those broad lines. I actually added in some writing, some little doodles, and then I'm going to backtrack in there and add a little bit more pop of color anywhere that I feel like is needed. And you can do the same. Basically, you have fun and make it however you like because this is all up to you as long as you have fun. And there you have it. The finished piece has a nice variety of all different kinds of mark making. We've got... I actually even went in there and used some white jelly roll gel pens that you are welcome to use as well. Um, got our nice little watercolor, tiny little details, little fine point, little broad points, all the different techniques to make it a really interesting looking piece of art. 